Hi guys, I'm back with the Dip Powder Mani. So I have three dip powders here from Luxie Nail Dip Powder. It's Baby It's Cold Outside, Polar, and I think the other one is Boozy and, no, Feeling Frosty. And so um, I also will be using Clear from Luxie Nail along with their dip liquids, the dip base and activator, along with Luxie Nail, um, no wipe hema free gel top coat now Lexi nail is the first dip powder company that i purchased dip powder from on etsy i just hadn't done a video using these products in a long time and so i have these soft gel tips it is 420 pieces in total 15 different sizes i got these off of shein um to be exact i got them off shein and so again we're going to use some nail tips um i will be using my reusable dip powder cup liners um as well to hold the dip powder i'm just getting a little bit too happy here and this color is polar and so i'm going to apply my uh, dip base in a thin layer um, on the nail and i will be laying the tip flat in the dip powder so i will do two coats of that and these are not low odor dip liquids so i am wearing my respirator um, when i am doing this dip powder application so just hang out with me while i do this mini And even though these are full coverage nail tips, I am still applying my dip base in a thin layer as thin as possible because you don't want these uh nails to be become too bulky and polar is a nice white dip powder with a uh, shimmer in it and so again these are pliable um the dip cup holders you just pour easily pour the dip powder back into the jar and that just wipes out with a nail brush and i usually do that over the trash over a trash can so the next color is feeling frosty which is a light blue or teal with um silver glitter in there silver spark or shimmer and so i will apply two coats of that as well to this particular nail and the other i only do three nails on camera i do the other two off camera um because it's the same color and so um i just like doing these nail tips it's just easy the nails i don't have to worry about trying to be precise with my polishing um getting it on my skin etc it's on the nail tip i mean where are you going uh, if it's not on the nail tip um and then I think the dip powder applies rather even um, when you're doing this on um, a tip. And I'm just showing you the whole tip. It's not that bad. And the next color, baby, it's cold outside. It is a white base with um, teal and silver foil flakes. And I bought this set. It came, there was a total of three colors. Polar was not one of them. I think the other one was boozy and bright. And I purchased these, I want to say two years ago. I believe some of the colors are still available, but not all of them. Um, and I had every intention of doing a mini, but with time, work, and et cetera, I just did not have time. And I said, let me bust these out because they were sold um, right before New Year's as a New Year's Eve, um, you know, dip powders. Not your typical black, gold, and silver. So I do like this. You could also do some snowflakes um, on an accent nail with the color in here because I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and so I'm just pressing the foil flakes down um, brushing off excess before I go in with the second coat one thing I did like about these foil flakes they did not bleed they did not bleed and so when you're working with foil flakes whatever you have your dip powder in you can just kind of shake it to pull the foil flakes up to the top that way you can get um, a lot of that foil um, on the nail and I just chose to lay my finger I mean not my finger lay the nail tip in the dip powder where most of the foil flakes were located So here are all five nails 
with dip powder and I do encapsulate in Luxie Nail Clear off camera. And so I'm going in and applying a generous amount of activator to all nails. I will give that about five minutes, give that time to harden. And I lightly um, go around each nail, the entire nail with the nail file, um, just to clean up if I have anything hanging over the edges of those nails. And then I will buff them smooth as well. So here are the nails after filing and buffing. I'm going in with some nail stamping. So this is Maniology Plate M079. Um, this is like a celebratory um, plate, New Year's plate, whatever you want to call it. Um, it has different things on there, fireworks, New Year's, uh, holly jolly, things like that. And so I wanted to do some kind of monochromatic stamping. The nail is white, so I wanted to apply a bright white nail um, stamping image. And so I first went in with this one which I don't keep it. Um, so I go in with this image. Number one, I didn't get that um, burst in the middle in the center of the nail, but that was okay. I missed the side of the nail, so I still had that image on the stamper. And so I just kind of lined that up as best as possible just to get the side of that nail. And so once I did that, I go in with Happy New Year. First, I stamped it in a teal or like a shimmer teal from Maniology. Um, this is Chill Out. And I stamped Happy New Year with that color on the nail that didn't really stand out on the nail i think it picked up on camera but when i was doing the mani it didn't pick up um i just couldn't see it that well and i was like eh, i don't know if i really like that so then i stamped it in white and went back over that and stamped it in teal again and it was just a blurry mess so i end up taking some acetone on a lint-free wipe and uh removing that image i then come back and stamp another image on the nail and then i stamp kind of like the bubbly popping out happy new year and then in, in black and then i end up stamping um part of a firework on the nail So here's where I start fresh. I decided to go with a different image. And so I kind of went with the, um, I don't know if it's considered fireworks or whatever it is. And so that didn't pick up initially uh, well at first. And so I wiped that off with the lint-free roller because I didn't feel, out, feel like pulling out my sticky tab. And so I just um, wiped that off with some acetone and reapply the BAM white to the image scrape place on the nail. I then go in again using, as I mentioned earlier, with this same plate and I pick up the um, champagne, place that on now. And I did that in black, so because just to give it some contrast, um, because I didn't want to stamp it in that teal because I thought it really wouldn't stand out on the nail. And I had already wiped the nail off with acetone, even though it didn't change anything about it. Um, I didn't want to keep wiping it off with the acetone. So I then go in with black and I stamp the um, bursting champagne and then I do part of the firework on the nail as uh, previously mentioned. Now, I do like stamping with gloves on because it just I just use my thumbnail and get all that excess polish off the stamper so once I get um, that nail looking the way that I want it to look I thought I hit record on my iPad but I guess I didn't Shame, shameful um, and so I'm just using um, 
a piece of paper towel and acetone to clean the plate up. It cleans up. You want to make sure you clean your plates before you put them away just to remove any polish from in the crevices of the images um, so that is ready for use next time. Plus, you don't want old dried polish on your plate. And so I'm just cleaning off my scraper card as well. And that little silicone heart, I got that from Timu. I got a white one and a red one. It just is small. It's like the size of my hand, um, a little bit bigger than my hand. And I'm just using that same piece of paper towel with acetone and cleaning off the stamping polish from that um, silicone mat and it cleans right off and so I thought I hit record I have some Swarovski light turquoise was the color rhinestones and I went in with some um, rhinestone glue and I put a dot in the middle of that um, firework and placed the rhinestone and cured and then I placed some rhinestones on the thumbnail which again I thought I hit record um, this was the time I realized it wasn't recording so I'm just going in with caviar beads that was being real disrespectful and I'm putting that in between the rhinestones on that thumbnail and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp once I cure that I'm going in with Luxie Nails Hema free gel top coat um, and actually Luxie Nail is the um this is the brand of builder gel that I use that my left hand still has builder gel on it. And so all of these uh, gel products that um, they are HEMA free. And so they have rubber base that's HEMA free, builder gel that's HEMA free and HEMA free gel top coat. I use all of them and I've been using them for years without any um, issues and I hope I never have any issues. And so once I get that gel top coat applied, I am going to cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. And so once I get the nails cured, I do um, apply sticky tabs inside of the nail just so that when I'm ready to pop these on, I um, can do that on my right hand because that hand is bare. And so guys, please like this video if you found value. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And subscribe to my channel. It is free. Nine, nine. And so I will have a short um, uploaded as well with me wearing the nails. I just didn't put them on that night. And so as I mentioned here are the nails. I did put the sticky tabs on the inside of the nail. So that I can just pull off the transparent back end when I'm ready to pop these on my hand. I thought they were really cute. Different colors for New Year's Eve. And so here are the nails. I just have them on my little glass palette there. Ready to go. And so I appreciate you guys for watching. Happy New Year to you. Look forward to seeing you guys and or hearing you guys comment in 2024. So thank you so much for watching.